brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the Cabin. And a fine feathered morning to you, my friends. Mornings at the Cabin. Wheeler and Ollie with you on your Thursday morning. Um, a beautiful morning. Actually, not too cold. It's only minus one. It's dark as all get out. But um, it's nice. It's uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Morning. Morning. This is loud. Ah, uh, it's fine. Is it? Randy's a bit uh, a bit uh, on edge this morning. Yeah, well, he's allowed to have the occasion. We all do. I suppose. We are less than a week away from Halloween, so we'll talk about that. We got the big plans for Halloween once again this year, and we had a very successful weekend last weekend. We'll get into that as well. What's coming up in the news, Zoli? What is coming up in the news? Um... We're a day away from finding out what the territorial government's going to do with Aurora College. Oh, okay, very uh, good. Their response will come out tomorrow. City of Yellow is making a big presentation today about that. And there are three people getting the order of the NWT. Wonderful. Yeah, you find out about that as well. Wonderful. Is it me? Am I one of them? Well, I don't want to spoil it. Ah, oh, come on. Well, uh, you can wait 20 minutes. No, let's tell everybody right now. You've waited a I am time. getting the order of the NWT. I mean, the ah, NWT might order you to do something. It was N. W, then the T. I see. I see what you did there. The very order good. of the end of yes, the Yes, very good. <laughs> very good. Indeed. Mornings at the cabin. The the pithiest, the quirkiest, the quickest witted, and uh, the most dreary eyed this morning, it seems to be. Also, maybe we'll get word on whether or not the government got any more cannabis. It's supposed today, to be today. Today. Yeah, it's supposed to be. To the best of their knowledge, which in stoner speak is, I don't know. It was sooner or later, probably. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast, where we delete all the bad bits and make them sound at least semi-coherent. Mornings at the Cabin, Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter with you on your Thursday morning. Lecter just strolled right in here, used my napkin that I had for my bagel to swipe up some of his coffee, and then put it back down in front of me. Well done, sir! There is plenty of napkin left I don't need it, but the fact is that you used it and put it back in front of me makes me feel really good. Well, I didn't know you didn't need it. You could get coffee on your face. I get coffee on this board! That's right. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. We are less than a week away from Halloween. Does everyone have their Halloween costumes? picked out no yeah fair enough nope <laughs> nope all right i thought well, we were going as a cabin and a radio i have no idea how we're gonna do that no that's 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 I, I call radio i'd already called radio i don't think so um i don't think that's but did you both goes radios all right yeah but that's gonna be well then we're just radio radios yeah all right well, so i'll go with radio i'll go, to, I'll, I'll radio go as uh i'll go as radio the duck so it sounds like we've <laughs> Deep in joke. So it sounds like we've all got our costumes picked out. We've just done nothing to make nothing them happen. Prepared. Put nothing no action prepared. in place. What's your, what's your costume? Yeah, Ollie works like going to go with Slenderman. You were going to go as what? The Slenderman. The Slenderman. So you need like a unitard. And I've right, to cover done your head. nothing to accomplish to your head. Oh, yeah. I, I meant to bring in the Triceratops this morning. But I'll bring it in, the, I'll bring it in this week. Notice the Halloween decorations in this building are on very different life cycles. Uh, oh. there's, <laughs> there's a few, there's, there's one with a midlife crisis. Well, there, there's a few decorations that got put up by, I don't know, whoever, just in the bathrooms yep. in the building. There's like some, you know, fake cobwebs and yeah. stuff, some skeletons in the kitchen. And then we got our, our pumpkins in the studio here yeah. who are, all, just, that are already moldy. Started, starting to rot. <laughs> They're starting to rot. <laughs> uh, you know, about a week before Halloween or so. Uh, they may, they may struggle to see pumpkin alley. They might. <laughs> they might yeah. Yeah. Well, not if we put them outside. Speaking of outside, did everyone see the uh, the the nice pile of melted uh, marshmallows on the sidewalk this morning? Thanks oh, a new to pile. Randy the Raven. A f- oh, a new, a big new pile. Fresh, fresh pile. Mm. There you go. I didn't. So, no costumes picked out just yet. Um, I will bring in the. Uh, I will bring in the Triceratops. But next Wednesday, we will be live streaming Halloween. Mm. All of it. All of it. Which means... We will be in 17 different locations at once. Uh, almost certainly. And we need those locations. We need people to submit right. to us places to go on Halloween. If you are the owner of or know of uh, a house that looks fantastic already, a house where people have put in a whole bunch of effort, we need to know where that house is. You need to write in and let us know and we'll add it to the list. We already got one. We already got one. I was just going to say. Uh, they, uh, Caleb Cochran. Caleb wrote Rob, Yep. Wrote uh, in. Last night... They're putting together a haunted house in the driveway for Halloween. Um, should we tell people that? Should we give people their personal information? Well, what what <laughs> what's inevitably going to happen is we're going to put this on Facebook at some yeah. point as a call out, and everyone right. is just going to write their own address underneath it. So that's true. 
let's let's be honest. We we already know that everyone is going to give away their personal information in order to <laughs> Ad- see this happen. Address or no address? Uh, address. Just remind me what street they're on. Uh, Wilkinson. Yeah, they're on Wilkinson. So yeah. so we'll definitely be there. Uh, you know we're going to be on Finlayson. You know we're going to stop past the the Hardy's house because yep. that is uh, an institution. Yep. They, they had over nearly 500 kids last year, 500 kids the year before that, going for 500. Again. We got a request from Adrian Cartwright. She's going to have a Halloween special on the night from 8 till 10. That's right. Uh, she she wants us to stop by before that, so we will. And we're going to try and uh, also live stream the audio on our stream as well at the same time. Oh, wonderful. So people can listen into that if you can't watch the video at the same time. So, yeah, uh, lots of fun to be had. Very good. Very good. You sound very excited about it. Oh, I can't wait. Great. I'm uh, just thinking about out. all the work behind it. <laughs> yeah. Lots of, work. of fun. Someone, to be had. Someone's got to figure out how it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you get for being the one with the expertise. This uh, is why I always say don't learn stuff. People will expect you to do things. <laughs> it's an unfortunate, yeah, side effect. <laughs> it is. We love you, Ali. Uh, big Halloween plans. So if you have a haunted house or you want us to drop by, let us know. Mailbox at cabinradio.com. You're listening to the best of Mornings at the Cabin. Yeah, it's a short show. Last weekend, the All You Need Is Love show went down at the top night, and it was a smashing success. Not only were the acts just incredible, which, you know, it just it's so boring. You just, you just come, you come to expect it now from me all night for people just to be really talented and really good at music, and you just get there, and they are, and you have blah. an amazing time. You're like, blah, yeah. another great concert thrown in Yellow Knife. How boring. No, it was absolutely fantastic um we had a great time we streamed it on saturday a uh, lot of great response and uh we now know that we've raised over three thousand mm-hmm. dollars for clyde and tara lee and jackson which is wonderful yeah that's really awesome uh, and we also have some uh some live tracks we can play that's right if yeah. we so beautiful choose. live tracks. we got five of them in the system right now and i can probably dig up a few more as well yeah it's a that was a great night, honestly. It was so fun. I was so sad though because it, I know I know you were kind of like, ah, if we actually had put something together and gone on stage, we would have been the worst acts. Yeah, the no, best. absolutely, we mm-hmm. would have. But I really don't think we would have though. I, I don't. Yeah, nah, but, um, yeah, probably. Given who, a given a few months to rehearse, who who <laughs> would we have been better than? Uh, uh, well, no, we're not going to say anything <laughs> exactly. like that. No, I'll say. No, you will. <laughs> Pit. We would have been better than Pit. Yeah, they think they're so big. They, pit. They're pretty awesome with their uh, with their tight with their tight <laughs> khaki cream chinos and their <laughs> black turtlenecks yeah. and their ridiculously good playing. Yeah, yeah. I think they're so great. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. They're that was really the first good. time I saw them. They were they were pretty excellent. And then of course, uh, Florida the Fireweeds and Two Five One Men Love Avenue. Everybody was great. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. And we will play some of those live tracks, uh, not after this break, because that is not in keeping with what we do here at Cabin Radio. (laughs) We will drop it randomly at some point for you to be like, oh, is this what they were talking about? Yeah, I think so. Like an hour ago? Yeah, that was it. That was good. I think personal highlight of the night was uh, Lauren McGinnis and Ollie Williams in a tender embrace. Hugging it out. That was was such a nice moment. Media (laughs) coming together. (laughs) Oh, look at these two guys. We we came together right then. Yeah. Oh. Each other. Uh, wait, wow. what? Where, How does where that go? are you coming from? What does morning? that mean? Come together right now? What's going now? on right now? You, what, <laughs> yeah, what's that's going it. on with you? <laughs> let's bring, let's uh, unpack this for a relatively second. Relatively sure that that's essentially the lyric, isn't it? <laughs> that is. Oh, that's right. That coming is. Together, right it's now. Just over me. Little. That's out, right. Out of context. Yeah, yeah, a little out of context. <laughs> a little <laughs> tiny bit out of context. Uh, now, when you did hug, you scared someone away, which was kind of funny to me, though, too. That was also kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, eh, we'll we'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, personal yeah. highlight for me was um, I think just uh, I don't know I can't uh, I mean Floor and the Fireweeds the, the acapella mm. um, girl Norwegian wood cover was excellent they stole our idea because we were going to do that yeah yeah. I well not that. those we, two songs but... Yeah, we, no we were going to do an acapella version of something yeah yeah. they clearly got that from us absolutely so you're welcome Flora and, and the, the Fireweeds yeah <laughs> <laughs> So keep an ear out for some of those live tracks, and thank you to everyone who played. Thank you to everyone who came out. Thank you to everyone who supported, and uh, over three thousand dollars raised for that young family and uh, little Jackson who needs his heart transplant. Um, so best of luck to them. We will continue to support them as mm-hmm. much as we possibly can. And uh, Yellowknife showing up once again for a good cause. Mornings at the cabin, the podcast where we cut out all the great music and you're left with the rest. The oldies are dying. 
and <laughs> and the new and the newlies are 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 taking over. Yeah, it's the passage of time. Yeah, it is. It is the <laughs> nonstop march of time that marches us all towards the inevitable uh, a, a death of our Billboard records. The end. Yeah, yeah. mine have already been broken. <laughs> all of my Billboard records have been broken. Ah. I have not appeared on the Billboard chart, so anybody who does appear has broken my record. Shoot. Yeah. Something that's... you and the Beatles have in common. Yeah, because the Beatles are now, they've had their record broken. Tell us about that. Well, you're not going to hear Ollie in this break, because I, I think he's a bit butthurt oh, about he's, this one. Oh, he's, he's hurt. Um, Drake just continues to wreak havoc Absolutely. on old Beatles records. Yep. A 54-year-old record yep. broken just the other day. By Mr. Drake, who uh, recorded his, who scored his 12th Billboard 100 top 10 single in the past year. It doesn't even make any sense. Um, <laughs> Billboard is now like they take they take downloads and like listens into account, mm. don't they? Right? I mean, it's not just sales. Is I that, have no idea because I think works. they take downloads like sales from iTunes, right? So I would assume when, so. Yeah, you know, when Lil Wayne. That's how we do singles now, right? Right? Yeah, he, Lil Wayne released so. his latest album. And at the to- at when the the day the album was released, right. the top ten songs on iTunes were all from from yeah. uh, the Carter. But that's six. on iTunes. That's not no. The but I mean, Billboard. I think they take that stuff into account now. The billboards, the billboarders, right? But I guess it's it's uh, a weekly yeah. thing. Not like iTunes could obviously be this daily. Yeah, so if daily. you drop an entire album one day, then everyone's listening to it. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. have yeah. The whole album's gonna be in the top ten of iTunes. Yes. Uh, which makes sense, but yeah, this this is this is the Billboard yeah. Hot 100. But this is what I'm. Th- I think this is what I was trying to say before you interrupted me. Um, <laughs> that w- to have 12 singles yeah. on the Billboard is a, a a lot easier now, or it's actually possible now because when you used to release an album when it wasn't online, you would release mm. singles like one at a time. Right. And now that they're online, all these singles can get heard, and all these singles can be on that top 100 right away. That's true. Yeah, that, you know that's I mean? a good point. It's a lot. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot easier. There's no. There's no packaging. There's involved. no packaging at all. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to slowly release singles. They're all really. It's just like Netflix. All the episodes are released on the same day. Yeah. So they get played a lot. They get requested a lot. Request and like it's so much easier for radio stations to access them now. It's not a matter of uh, like. I mean, you still got to pay for it, but it's not a matter of like only playing that single because based on like what the record company's telling yeah. you to do we play whatever we want although maybe the record companies and the whole industry just worked a lot harder back in the day uh and now it's it's not just you know there's a couple cds that came out uh 10 months ago in walmart yeah and we just kind of walk in and we're like uh, well i got i gotta make some change <laughs> so i guess i'll buy a cd <laughs> <laughs> gotta make change. I need to change for my twenty. Here's a fourteen dollar and ninety nine cent CD. Uh, I want good. a smile cookie across the parking <laughs> lot. Better go buy a CD at Walmart. Make some change. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh well, good for Drake. Yeah, good for Drake. Canadian, good Canadian kid. kid. Yeah, good Canadian kid. Take that, Ollie. <laughs> the Brits once again defeated by the Canadians. It's happened time and time again in history, and it continues to happen. <laughs> Ollie's country just. Can't seem to get enough of being beaten. Can't by catch its, a break. By its, its tiny little baby of a country, Canada. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. Face it, Ollie, we're younger and faster. That's right. And <laughs> slightly less racist. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Lecter is watching hockey highlights from last week. Got to catch up. Got to catch up on those hockey highlights. Yeah. How come you're not watching them at night? Too tired. Too tired. I'm tired from playing NHL 19. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> it's too much hockey. How's that going anyway? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. I know you're having a little trouble with the online gaming. Little trouble. Is that okay? How's yeah. that making you feel? No, it's about the same. It's about the same. Hasn't improved at all. Oh, okay. Hasn't improved? No. Since the last time we talked? We remain resilient online gamers. How has that made you feel? Frustrated. Yeah? Yeah. You're paying for it now, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember PlayStation Network used to be free, but now it's now you're paying for it. Now you're paying for and it, and the service is worse. And the service is arguably worse. Yes. Awesome. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. It hasn't gotten better anyway. So should so. I buy a PS4 or an Xbox One? Oh, absolutely, PS4. No Why? question. It's the best. Is it? Yeah. Wow. And I have one. I well, we you can know what? Play I put, together. I put that poll out there last couple weeks ago, and they're like, it was overwhelmingly for PS. That's right. So I mean, I think we are that's... a very forgiving people. <laughs> You PS fours, you all look alike. Um, <laughs> I think I will. I think I. I mean, I don't know when it's going to happen because, like, I I want the pro. I kind of want the four K because 
I have not a 4K TV, so that may, that's important to me for Just some reason. Just buy one so we can stop talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> no. This, okay. is, this is good fodder for the morning show. <laughs> right. There's a couple of gamers out there listening right now. I bet Jason Mellison's like, PS4, buddy. PS4. <laughs> He sent you a link and everything. I know. Like, buy it here. Here's buy a bundle here. package. This is the best deal you're going to find. I know. Still haven't pulled the trigger. I haven't pulled the trigger. I, uh, well, I got to spend a bunch of money on other stuff. All right. Well, you know, that's like, not our problem. Like living and bills and <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Oh, yeah. We all got those. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. Yeah. You all have those. Yeah. Well, I have them. Yeah. So, anyway, that affects my life. And when are we going to talk about a fat dog? No. We- <laughs> Yeah, that's yes, my understanding. Yes, that's, as is my understanding. <laughs> yeah, but the PS4 thing kind of came out. But I mean, yeah, there's a fat dog. Yeah, yeah. That, so this woman, this woman, uh, caught her dog, <laughs> caught her dog going to a McDonald's in her neighborhood, sneaking out at night, out of the yard at night or whatever, <laughs> going to a McDonald's in her neighborhood and like acting like a stray and until like people gave her burgers, <laughs> and she caught her in the act. It's so funny. Uh, she posted up on, on Facebook a little video. If you see my dog at the McDonald's on Shields, quit feeding her fat ass because she don't know how to act and be leaving the house all the time to go walk into McDonald's at night. She's not even a stray. She's just a gold digging ass bish that be acting like she's a stray so people will feel bad for her and feed her burgers. It is incredible. What a great story. That is amazing. I love it. And the dog is a little chunky. Well, but, yeah. I mean, you think people will kind of get this. Like, you're not a stray. Look at the size Look of you. Look at the size of you. I'm giving you a burger. <laughs> I mean, strays can be, can they be can. smart enough. Yeah, you to, know what? We should, know, we hang should out pigeon McDonald's. Hold strays. But you also shouldn't buy random dogs McDonald's no. burgers. No, I mean, unless, I, I don't know. I mean, no, that, I think you really shouldn't. But I mean, if a dog's like whimpering at you, like this dog has got it on lock. Like, just like, like obviously manipulating people into buying it hamburgers. It's amazing, but I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't buy your own dog a McDonald's burger, correct? Why, Why wouldn't you do that? It's not good for Is them. Is that not good? It's not good for us. It's probably worse for them. I feel like dogs can like eat poop. They could probably eat McDonald's and be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't do that for long. No, they can't. No, they can't. <laughs> Without some other kind of sustenance. As my, my puppy found out. So um, she so, ate some poop and it was bad. Oh, not, not, a, not uh, a good she, way. She did not feel good. Oh, she wow. did not feel good. Yeah, um, I'm sure she learned her lesson. <laughs> I hope so. Good lord! Uh, so that was that was kind of funny. That popped in my feed today, along with the fact that McDonald's is revealing its first new breakfast sandwich in five years. Wow! Yeah, all it's right. A stacked cr- uh, b- breakfast sandwich. So you got an egg McMuffin with sausage, say, and then you got just two sausage patties. Now, <laughs> as opposed to one. It feels like a long time and a lot of anticipation really? to add an extra sausage. A lot, lot of hype. It's like this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna change the game. We're gonna make it a double. We're gonna make it a double. We're gonna put two sausage patties and two pieces of cheese on there. Boom. I know at least one person out there has been pushing for at least the last few months about uh, pushing for a <laughs> a bagel Big Mac. Ooh. So that is yet to That's happen. That's disgusting. Right? Who is that? Tell me who that <laughs> I'm not is. Gonna, right now. I'm not going to reveal the identity of the person who's been pushing for this. Is it Nicole? Uh, they may have appeared on Mornings at the Cabin <laughs> recently. <laughs> but I won't say who. Bagel, I won't say who. A bagel Big Mac. It's, it's, it's almost too much that there's a bagel like breakfast sandwich. They almost made it happen one night at the drive thru. I remember, I remember eating bagel belts when I was working, like, when I was working uh, dem- demolition. So you'd be working like heavy, heavy stuff all day. So that's why right. you'd have a bagel. You belt. worked demolition, little bit of demolition, yeah. Well, not wow. de- well. I mean, not. I mean, what do you call it? Demolition? I call it. I guess you were imploding res- buildings. No, like- no, like tearing stuff out of buildings and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I call it demolition because right. it sounds cooler than recycling. Because <laughs> I worked for a, like a trash it company. Scrapping, scrapping, <laughs> scrapping. There's nothing so, wrong with being a scrapper. That's right. So it's November first, you can get one of those uh, new. New new sandwiches. Yay. Yay. Don't feed it to a stray dog. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. We will be out and about on Halloween. That's next Wednesday. All the partying gets done this weekend, including Boolesque Friday and Saturday. Keep an eye out on Facebook for tickets. You never know. People do give up tickets on show night. Maybe they can't make it or whatever, but uh, there might be some tickets out there. You never know. Could pop up. You're going on Saturday. Yes. I'm going on Friday. Yes. 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 So we'll keep a nice separation. Absolutely. From one of I don't really want to be seen in public with you. That's fine. Yeah. Can you blame me? Um, next next Wednesday, Halloween, we are going to be out and about. We're going to be live streaming a whole bunch of it. 
um, going around to different houses, talking to kids, seeing who's got the best costumes, stealing candy. This is what we do on Halloween. And, uh, well, no one will give us candy. We got to oh, do what we got to do. Oh, people give us candy. Don't worry about no, it. No, we got to steal gonna, it. I'm going to bring my body pillow uh, uh, pillowcase. Nope. Steal I'm gonna, it. I'm going to fill the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, so if you would like us to come by, you can let us know at uh, mailbox at cabinradio.ca. Send us a message on the Facebook page as well, and uh, we'll be putting the call out a, a little, uh, well, throughout this week and uh, throughout next week as well. Um, I think we even have a light this year. We have a light? Yeah. A light? Production quality is just oh, through, the, through roof the roof now. Roof. It's amazing what happens in a year. Uh, so we'll be going around to, uh, or if, I mean, if people are going to suggest their own houses, maybe people can suggest some houses. Because- Absolutely. There are some houses out there that every year are awesome. Mm. The Hardys being one of them. Yeah, they always do. Uh, they always do a big display out front and hand out like five hundred satchels of candy. And if you want to make the Hardys look like chumps, that's right. Let us know where we should <laughs> oh, be. Right. Good <laughs> lord. Um, I, you know what? I, I saw Jackie uh, on uh, Facebook a couple weeks ago talking about how you know how like people are being very cautious about what they're giving out on Halloween, mm. or like parents are being very cautious about their kids' right. take on Halloween. no razor blades, no razor blades, no raisins, no pennies, no raisins. You know, I like raisins. No, you don't. Come on, not for Halloween. Nature's candy. Nature's candy, my patoot. Um, but uh, she was she made a really good point about like um. Because people were like, yeah, just, you know, don't, you know, don't hand out your own stuff. Hand out, like, only hand out, like, that the candy that everyone can enjoy. Right. And she made the point, like, I get 500 kids. I get 500 kids. Everybody's getting the same thing. If, like, if there's something in there that you can't eat, then just don't eat it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? She can't, she can't be making special bags for everybody. Right. She makes, they make the bags for everybody and everybody gets the same bag. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if you can't eat something, in it, then don't. I'm assuming no peanut. No, nope. I mean she. I mean, I think she probably tries to avoid yeah. some of the peanut stuff. Some like peanuts. very, very, you know, general. Some guidelines of the best as as stuff has peanuts in it, or has come in contact with peanuts. All the best peanuts. stuff has peanuts right? in it. Let's yeah. be honest. I do feel bad for people with peanut allergies. Oh, that absolutely. Sucks. That really sucks. People with uh, peanut allergies. Uh, people who are lactose intolerant. Yeah. Uh, people who are gluten intolerant. Really, just anything that restricts your diet. I f- yeah. I feel a bit bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gluten intolerance and racial intolerance. They're both, they're, they're right up there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know if I feel bad. I joke. For people who are gluten intolerant, that does suck. That's, yeah. that's terrible. I remember once when I was working at a dinner theater, we were doing, uh, we'd do notes at the beginning of the night, right? Mm. Because we'd be serving like 400 people and we'd be like, table 10 has a gluten allergy. Table, table 8 is allergic to, or is lactose intolerant. Right. And, uh, and one, one was like, uh, table, table 9, uh, seat 2 uh, is allergic to sulfates. And so we kind of looked around. We're like, sulfates of the flavor? You mean flavor? Like, yeah, they're, they're allergic to flavor. Sulfates are sulfites. It was bad. It was a bad one. Like, you can't have anything. Yeah, doesn't that basically rule out any kind of meat? Yeah, yeah. We have a kid. Yeah. We have a we have a really special kid coming to the show tonight. He's allergic to hydrogen. Just stay away from him. <laughs> Don't interact with him whatsoever. Just let him watch the show. Don't breathe on him. Don't for breathe. the love of God. <laughs> So if you would like, if you would like this kind of thing to come to your house on Halloween and and just be quippy as all get out, then let us know. We would love to come by your house and feature your house on our Halloween special. This has become a yearly thing, and uh, we are very very excited about it. And we uh, we always have a good time. Mm-hmm. Yes. So let us know mailbox at radio uh, cabinradio.ca or let us know on the Facebook page, and we will come by and berate you until you give us all your candy. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca.